That's Jeremy Shear. 11th all-time meeting between Pittsburgh and Hartford a couple years ago. It was the definitive rivalry in the Atlantic group. Ball dipping through. It's a decent idea. Deke was laid it back. Cicerone is maintained. Soars into the air. Mertz walks up as Odell camps under it. Your respect, your earn your respect playing against the Riverhound side and any team that's coached by Bob Lilly. Success that he's had throughout his career. Watch out, Lewis. Seeing this for Dolly. Leads it back, McGlynn. McGlynn! Oh, what a hit! Four for the course for that magic egg! One nil, Hartford! Magnificently! Pull players in, holds off his defender. Nice little drop back of the ball. Apologies needed. One thing on his mind, head down, strikes through the ball so cleanly. Picture perfect, technical ability, top class, dip, whip, power, pace, all the above from Connor McLean. No Your combination play, requiring so much attention, such a value to have. Here comes Cicerone. The Giant has awoken! Odell, good stop, point blank, and rolled wide at the end. To your point, Budati, Bruitt, and then Purpa got one in the first half, and Gadula has already been warned. After committing five fouls, he's on the verge of a card. Mertz, floating, header is in! And Cicerone pulls Pittsburgh on the level terms! A long, long time coming! His it was a player that would shift out to the right-hand side, left-hand side, now it's him playing in the middle of the field. Out jumps Budati. Only three expected goals. Could, get, could they get their due reward here at the end? Here comes Pittsburgh pushing. Ball rolled over to Forbes. Forbes leading. Wait! Wait! Surely wins it! Can you believe it? Take a bow from Kernardo Forbes, just rolls this into the path of the outside back joining the attack. Wheat laces through it. At six yard block and penalty mark. Budati, that ain't it. Pittsburgh goes on the road and comes from behind to knock off Hartford.